Welcome back to CES 2009. We're still with George Mead. George, thanks for taking the time. Now let's talk about 3D projection. Um, it's coming to the UK, you're bringing it into the UK, and um, a lot of forum members have uh, invested in your technology, but you've never released projectors in the UK, so is that going to change? It is going to change. Um, projector, I think, in, in, in 3D is actually the best pitch, possible pitch quality you can actually get. It's the nearest thing you can actually get from a, you know, an IMAX theatre in your home. Um, now, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult to create that environment within your home in terms of the ambient light levels, but we're absolutely committed for the people that really want to get the best out of 3D, then projector is absolutely the way to go. And the demonstration here today is absolutely breathtaking. So when the football happens in 3D, live football in 3D, no better way than actually putting, putting that through a projector in a dedicated cinema room. It looks absolutely stunning. So it will launch uh, in, in 2010. Uh, we'll be in, hopefully in time for the for, for the World Cup is what we what we really wish for. Um, there'll be a whole host of LED projectors and 3D projectors coming, uh, and we think it's absolutely the right time to bring them. In, hopefully in time for that World Cup. And of course, uh, I mean, the obvious question that people are going to ask is how does it work? So how does it work? The 3D projector is using active uh, shutter technology. So we have a multi different variety of 3D technologies that are launching at CES. We have the passive type on our LCD TVs. We have the active shutter type on our plasma TVs. We are, we are, we are compliant with the Sky platform, which will obviously launch um, in the latter part of 2010 when, the, when their 3D channel launches. will be compatible with that. And obviously we have the 3D projector. So within our 3D range, we will have something for everyone. We kind of in, we're not, in you know, we're not supporting one over the other, we're just in absolutely every single type of 3D technology and it's going to be 3D is born in 2010. Now, you got a lot of good publicity on the forums for a projector which you didn't actually release in the UK. A lot of our members grey imported it, um, but lots of positive comments on that. Um, and that was quite a budget conscious projector, so I know you can't talk exact figures, but just to give the, the projector fans an idea of 3D projection, what kind of area of the market are they looking at for that? Well, I think it's going to be an expensive solution because of the amount of R&D spend that has to go in to produce that solution. The pricing isn't confirmed yet, but it's going to be premium. Um, it's, not, you know, it's not going to be mass market, but that type of, that type of product is, is for really early adopters that you know, the AV Forums users will absolutely be all, all, all over that. So we'll be committed to, to maybe doing some type of event for, um, exclusively for, for the AV Forums community to actually get them to see this product and see what they think. Because we're listening to what's going on on the forums and we're seeing the feedback on, on that particular um, LG projector that you referenced. And it's helping us you know, bring these products in because we can see that there is a demand for them. I think uh, you know we're, we're still learning within the projector side of it because we've been so dedicated on our LCD, LED, and, and our plasma TVs. OLED is obviously coming, and 3D is coming, but the projector side of it is something that we're very keen to see how we can develop that type, that part of our business in 2010. Well, George, it's a busy show. Um, thank you very much for taking uh, quite a chunk of your time to come round and show the forum members uh, all the new products. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great show. Happy New Year to all the forum members.